According to a report by NBC News, China is predicted to suffer a loss in production of 1 million vehicles as a result of shutdowns related to the outbreak. Research company Gasku Auto Research Institute said that the sale of passenger cars in 2020 would fall by 3% to 6% from the previous year due to coronavirus. Factory shutdowns in China are causing supply chain issues across the globe. Hyundai has delayed the launch of its facelifted Genesis G80 as a result of the outbreak. In a statement, Hyundai confirmed that it had decided to suspend its production lines from operating at its plants in Korea, adding that the decision is due to disruptions in the supply of parts resulting from the coronavirus outbreak in China. The delays are specifically caused by a shortage of wiring harnesses from suppliers Kyung Shin and Yura Corporation. The company declared in early February that it would idle all seven of its plants in South Korea because of a lack of parts from suppliers in China. Honda Motor affiliated parts manufacturer FTEC has decided to produce brake pedals in the Philippines instead of at its Wuhan plant. Fiat Chrysler on Thursday confirmed that the coronavirus may force it to temporarily suspend production at one of its many plants in Europe. Suzuki said it may start sourcing parts from outside China over concerns that the outbreak could disrupt production in India, its biggest market. Nissan and PSA, which makes the Peugeot and Citroën brands, have said their factories will remain closed until February Friday 14th. VW, BMW, Toyota and Honda have all said they now plan to restart Chinese production the following week. GM China President Matt Tsien says, We certainly are very concerned about the situation on an overall basis. GM operates 15 assembly plants in the country with its Chinese partners. That compares to Ford with six assembly plants and Fiat Chrysler at two. The automakers also operate smaller supporting facilities. Aside from manufacturing business, the outbreak's impact on human life and well-being should be noted. But this outbreak shows how the global manufacturing supply chain is a highly complex system. To weather the storm, manufacturers across the planet will need to respond with flexibility.